I made the most dumbest decision by buying a car off Facebook. <laughs> I've always wanted a car with pop-ups and why not go with the Miata? Because you know what they say, Miata is always the answer. I messaged the seller on Facebook and told him if you give me a good deal, I will literally fly out the next day. 300 miles later from Arkansas to Texas, I grab a couple friends and we were on the way to purchase the Miata. I'm a little nervous because I flew out of state for this. So we are going to see if this car is any good. We made it happen. We got a new project car. But uh, there's one big problem. We're trying to make it home. And uh, it's very hard to go in gear. So it's about an hour drive. Hey, bro. I work tomorrow. I gotta be out at 7 a.m. <laughs> what are we doing now, bro? What are we doing now, bro? <laughs> but little did I know, that one hour drive is gonna be our biggest problem. We actually got stranded a couple times on the road because the car wouldn't go into gear. The slave cylinder or the clutch master cylinder was going out on the car. And if those two parts don't work, then we can't get the car moving. Oh, we almost have it. We almost have it. Rubber. Well, uh, key's not coming out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're gonna eat at Yama today. It was so hot. Here, go take the. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> New car? No. Old car. Old car. <laughs> I am too small. <laughs> <laughs> it needs a little bit of TLC. TLC. So cute. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. All right, guys, so it's the next day. I'm gonna try to go to DMV today, get a temporary tag. As you guys know, I'm not from Texas. This is my boy's Z4. So he's gonna let me take it out for today to go to DMV. Oh, yeah, look at that luxury. Do I look good? Oh! All right, so we at the DMV. The temporary plate for now. We got new parts. I got a new clutch master cylinder. So this should help with the shifting. Hopefully, maybe it's pushing enough pressure. It's not leaking or anything like that. All I'm doing is replacing the old part and putting on the new one. You're doing great. You think so? I believe in you. Oh man, let's see what's wrong with this. Don't die, okay? I try not to. Ooh. You got some JDM sticker right here. <laughs> some seats with no f you know cushions. What? With all these stickers, they add 100 horsepower. So we made 200 on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> we have power tools. Clap. After I installed the new part, the car ran like a dream. It literally had no problems and we actually went cruising with all my friends during that night. The next day, I went to the gas station, got some gas for the Miata and was back on the road to Arkansas. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see this guys. I'm literally glistening. I mean closing. Oh shit. There we go. Oh my god. What a journey. It's a Mazda. Yeah. I said Viata. Mazda Viata. Mazda. Uh yeah, I, I drove from Texas. Yeah. But after I got a night's rest, the next day I decided to work on the car and clean it up. It was super dirty and super nasty, and I found something that I never thought I would find. Look what I found! But this is a mother wasp nest. No way. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just in case if there's something in here, we got brake cleaner. That is just disgusting. Oh God. Oh yeah, more money. While having the Civic was great and all, I still want to add more content to the channel and this 
is where this Miata comes in. Of course, this Miata is not perfect. Has a couple dents, dings all around this car. The previous owner told me that he spent $2,000 on a Mako paint job, but obviously it's not lasting. It's peeling on some areas and you know, the masking wasn't the best. If you guys don't know, these Miatas go for four or five grand easily on Facebook Marketplace. This guy was selling this Miata for actually seven grand. But having the Asian bloodline, you know, I had my haggle skills and we were able to get this from seven grand all the way to 2600. This car does seem to leak from the valve cover and the back of the, uh, I guess, what do you call it, cam seal? Uh, some things are on its way out, like this reservoir. You can see there's cracking in this and I feel like once it gets hot enough, it might just blow. Also, this car was originally white. If you could look over here, this is actually the original color. So the car used to be white and then they did a Mako job to paint this all orange. But most importantly, do the pop-ups work? I paid 2600 for this. Is it the cleanest Miata? No. Does it have its imperfections? <gasps> yes. Dude, does this have water on it? What the? Oh, it does have water on it. What the? Oh, nah. I guess that's another thing to fix. It's kind of crazy to see that we have two iconic cars here. The legendary EK and the Miata. So they're both Japanese cars, you feel me? I guess I can't. I guess I can't get away with stinky old Japanese sh** <laughs> I bought a 2020 Supra about two years ago and I took that financial leap to create more content. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case because it just wasn't relatable enough. And yeah, unfortunately, I went down in the bank and I went broke over owning that Supra. But now that we've kind of took a step back owning the Civic uh, and where it needs to be and Big shout out to the sponsors and, and also for our community to support what I do and watching the videos and stuff. It, it just really means a lot. I know this is cliche, but a lot of YouTubers say it, but it's honestly true. Without your support and the community supporting me, um, I don't think I would be here today. Definitely for sure when I had the Supra, I never thought that this would happen. So it's not the bougiest car, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's not a GT3 RS or it's not some BMW 340i M3, M4, anything like that. It's definitely far between that. I've been driving Hondas all for my life and uh, really I think the only bougie thing was uh, a Supra. Let me know what uh, is good stuff to add on to this. Don't know. Well, I don't know exactly what I would do yet, but uh, let me know in the comments down below. Let's make this Miata official by putting the official plate on. Just like that, it's official. We got the Arkansas plate on it. Please don't come to my house.